Hey, this is Kevin Bees with tip number 27. And today I wanted to talk to you about goal setting. I know as a, in my past being a life coach and now a business coach, I see very frequently people really have a problem with setting goals and how big to set a goal or how small to set a goal. And that impacts uh, their levels of achievement. It impacts how they feel about the journey uh, in, in going to attain their goals. So I want to share with you a couple of ideas that are going to make it super easy for you to set a goal and even easier for you to accomplish a goal. I know uh, in this day and age there's a lot of talk uh, in the marketplace uh, around, around goal setting. People are very frequently saying, hey, set your goals 10x your vision. Have a massively transformative purpose. Have a moonshot. Now, I love all of those concepts. I think they're super valuable and super important because if it's something that stretches our mind or our imagination or it helps us see a higher purpose, that could be really exciting and rewarding for us to go towards. So I, I certainly encourage us to have a clear vision and a clear direction of where we want to go. But the problem that I see for many of my clients who come along with ideas or concepts like this it is sometimes they struggle because this moonshot or this thing or this massively transformative purpose or this 10x thing is so far away, it's so big to them, they don't really know how to get started. It becomes a little bit overwhelming. Uh, and the best analogy I have for this is kind of like if you've ever played with a cat and you have like a ball of string and you dangle the string in front of the cat. You know, if you put it really high for the cat, he's not even going to jump, he's not even going to move. He looks at it and he thinks it's too far. The, the level of effort and the level of reward, I'm just never going to get there. So he just, he doesn't even bother. If you drop the ball of string right in the cat's lap, again, not really bothered. It's like, it's there, I have it. So why would I make any effort? But you, if you could dangle this ball just a little bit above, maybe a little bit beyond what, you know, his reach, then it's going to jump. Then it's going to be excited. Then it's going to go after it. Okay, now there's a, a psychology concept that really relates to this and it's called the Yerkes Dodson Law. Now, I think I can just uh, share it on my screen. Here's, here's an example. So this is our cat with a ball of string. Now, what you can see, if I can just move the screen up very slightly, is you can see that the level of arousal, like that's the level of motivation that someone has to do something is along the bottom, and their level of performance is along the side here. Oops, if I can just line that up. And so what we find is like this cat with a ball of string. If something is, you know, super uh, easy for us to do, super within our reach, then, you know, really not much effort. We can't really be bothered to do it. If, on the other hand, is like this massive moonshot is so big, it's so far out of our awareness, you know, we can get a heap of stress around that, feel overwhelmed and not do it. Where the sweet spot is in terms of goal setting is if we have something in the middle. So we get our highest performance where there's kind of like um, a, a mid-range of pressure, a mid-range of stress to achieve it. So too much stress, too much energy needed, like that cat, we're not going to bother jumping for it. And if on the other hand, it's too easy, it's just in the palm of our hands, right? can't really be bothered. So there's something in the middle. Now, how, how do we apply this to goal setting? What do you need to do when you set your goals to allow you to feel, feel that optimal arousal, that, that middle thing, where you feel most motivated, most energy, and you have the best performance? Now, the, the idea that I wanna share with you is, is chunking. We can have this 10X vision or this massively transformative purpose, or someone like Elon Musk is a great example. He's planning to uh, inhabit Mars within his lifetime. Right, that's, that's such a long thing. It, it, it may be something that takes him decades to achieve, right? But he can break this down into some smaller component parts, right? He's not gonna go in, um, build a rocket and fly there tomorrow. It's something that he needs to build step by step. So he can break it down or what I call chunk it down into some smaller pieces. There's gonna be some separate milestones along the way, okay? So, you know, each milestone on their own may be a challenge, but they feel like that actually that's accomplishable. He could you know, work on certain element of the machinery. He could work on getting the right team together. There are smaller components. If we make this relevant to your business, if you have a goal or a vision, maybe you want to double your business size this year. And maybe that seems overwhelming because you're doing a lot of work already. But if we chuck that down, what if we broke that down into like maybe a monthly target? What if we said, hey, this month we're going to achieve this piece, not, not like the whole piece, but this piece, it becomes something more attainable. It's something that we can uh, see, we can imagine, we can begin to put our effort into. So what are the steps that we can take moving forwards? So the idea or the, the, the piece around goal setting is chunk it, chunk it into some smaller, more manageable pieces, like that cat with a ball of string. Make sure it's something that's just beyond 
your current comfort level, something that's gonna stretch you a little bit further. Now, I think uh, there's a great saying, I remember by Brian Tracy, he said, uh, in one of the audios I listened to from him, he said, uh, inch by inch, it's a cinch, right? As we do smaller steps, it becomes easier. He shares this wonderful analogy, actually, which I, it's just coming to me now, I hadn't even planned to speak about this. He shares about how when he was um, in his early 20s, he wanted to travel all the way across the Sahara Desert. And the Sahara Desert, uh, I don't know how many kilometers long. I, I, I want to say 5,000 kilometers or 5,000 miles. It's, it's a long distance. I, and if you're into your geography, then you can correct me on this. But it's a long way. And what he pointed out was that how was he going to do this? How was he going to drive across the desert? without? Uh, back then, no GPS uh, map wasn't much use in the desert because everything looks the same. Uh, but what he realized is that there were markers every five kilometers along the way. So as he got to one marker, you could see one marker in distance, the other one drops out of his mirror. And then he got to the next marker and the other one drops out of his mirror. So he managed to get all the way across that desert just by doing one, one small marker at a time. And so I think that's a piece I wanna share with you is, is a chunking. How can you break down your goal, your big purpose, your moonshot, your 10X vision into some smaller, more bite-sized pieces? Uh, go ahead, try that. Uh, as always, I would love for you to comment here if you like this, um, share it, that would be great. Uh, like it, that would be even awesome as well. And Chris Cullis, thank you so much. Awesome to you as well. I hope you enjoy applying this one and I will be back to you tomorrow with tip number 28. Have a great day.